Good morning guys. So this morning I opened up my window and I realized the view that I had around me. So last night we got in a little bit late. Um, it was already, the sun had set, so it was really dark and there's not many lights in because we're on the kind of outskirts of the city and I didn't even realize what we were driving past. And this morning I woke up and I kind of just looked outside to see what the weather was like. And this is what I saw. I am surrounded by nature and I am so happy. So the one side of the house overlooks this beautiful natural river. It's just stunning. We're on the end of the street where it's just so full of nature. So I decided to get up, get cozy because it's a little bit chilly out here today. Walk down and it's pretty steep. Um, I've uh, nearly twisted my ankle a few times coming down. As I'm walking down, I just hear barking. And I just found this little dog that was barking at me. I did try to call it over to give it some pretzels, but he didn't like the look of me, but I liked the look of him. He was so cute. I've just been chilling down here for a while, just walked up and down a little bit. And now I have to go make the big trip up this uh, giant hill. It doesn't look giant, but it's pretty steep. But yeah, that's an update on my life. Welcome to Portugal. <laughs> Crazy how different places are. I know. So I have put a poll on my Instagram pretty much asking you if you want to kind of pick my day and most of you said you want to so today's day is literally going to be decided on you guys. If you guys want to be involved for the next time that I do this you pick my day day and you want to vote on what I do during one of my travel days go follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is it's dot me underscore Cherie. I will put it down below and you guys can just vote for what you want me to do next time that I put this on my Instagram. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the day that you pick. <laughs> okay, I'm at the bus stop. I'm not really sure how they work, so I'm trying to figure it out. There's so many options and half of them I don't understand, obviously. There's a timetable of the times they arrive and then there's a map of where you can go and this bus only goes to certain points. This is what I'm trying to figure out, but I guess we'll see where we go and um, I guess you will find out. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of difficult. I guess like once you figured out the bus schedule, it's easy. I think just the first time figuring out, trying to figure out where everything is, is kind of hard. But hopefully I pick a cool place and it doesn't matter really where I go. I'm going to explore anyway, so let's see where we end up for the day. Okay, so I'm gonna take the 12 o'clock bus and there's two options so I can either go somewhere closer to the beach or I can go in the city and I've asked you guys on Instagram to pick one and I guess we'll just see. Um, I'm busy waiting for the bus. Like a song that I sing in the morning on a perfect holiday you like to the clouds look gray You like the joy of a trip that is coming To a place with ocean view You're like an old familiar friend When all is new Do you know? 
store today and we just got a few groceries so I just want to show you guys what I got so I got some rocket bananas tomato avocado some raspberries vegan yogurt I got mixed berry peach and guava oats for breakfast vegan condensed milk I'm so excited some applesauce because I'm going to make some banana bread for my grandparents. And then the other day when I went to the shops, I also got some raspberry and passion fruit yogurt, which is incredible. And I got some soy milk, which was super cheap and it is pretty good. It's creamy and really nice. And my gran got me some peanut butter as well. What's nice about Portugal is you can actually get some really affordable things and their vegan selection is insane. They have more selection than you could ever imagine in South Africa. Everything you can imagine they have. A lot of their stuff is labeled vegan. Actually most of their stuff is labeled that is vegan. And it's usually sectioned together so they'll have all the vegan yogurts together, all the vegan milks together. Their stuff is so cool and if you actually look properly be conscious of what you're buying you only look and say okay i'm gonna only spend you know so many cents on this and the stuff is actually mostly on sale so if you stick to sales stuff it's actually not really expensive i really like how vegan friendly they are 